Hi YouTube, this is Valerie. How are you? Here's my hair. So I actually got it straightened. Um, today is Tuesday. I got it straightened on Saturday. As you all know, I'm natural. And so since I straightened my hair, I've had some frizzing and shrinkage. So my hair looks a little poofier and shorter than what it looked like Saturday when it was freshly done. But anyways, yes, this is my hair and it has tons of body. It's so healthy. It's so shiny. It has um, body. It's it's just like perfectly even. It's just, um, I'm really excited. But I'm sure you can already see my hair. It's just getting so long. I mean, I mean long as in, uh, am I sitting on it? No. Long as in, whoa. That is major growth. Absolutely. Let, this is my style. Um, actually, when I first got my hair done, as I was sitting in the chair and she was straightening it with the flat iron, and she used heat protectant, so um, just had to add that in. But as she was straightening it, I was thinking, okay, what style do I want? So all of a sudden, I had this this visual of like a retro 1970s, um, early 80s mushroom, if you know what I'm talking about, like just the blunt hard bang that kind of goes down and around to the back with the back kind of touching the bottom of the neck because that's how long my hair is now. And so I was like, that would look so cute. So I had her do the hairstyle and it was gorgeous. Except between Saturday and Sunday, it went from a retro 1970s mushroom do to Dorothy Dandridge with the tight curls because I roller set it because I don't want to use heat every day with the curling iron. So I set it on rollers and it kind of got tighter. So it's still cute. But anyways, I'm very satisfied with just the overall condition of my hair. And yes, this is it. And I just have some things to show you really quick. Okay. So for anyone who may not know, um, I BC'd, I big chopped, I did not transition. I called my sister and I said, get over here, let's do it, let's big chop, and if you don't come now, I'm going to change my mind. So she hopped in her car, came over, and May 26, 2011, she took the scissors and cut me down to maybe, maybe about a little over an inch of hair. So I have my handy dandy tape measure here to show you. That's about, my hair is about this long. And um, all, the, all the way around, there was still, and of that, I would probably say a good inch of it was relaxed ends. So I kind of like, as you guys remember, we had the headband on and, and you know, and so, um, so I had my little TWA, my teeny weeny afro, and so what a long way I've come from the TWA. It's just so exciting. So that's where I started. And so, and as you know, over the last year and, and a month or two, I had a series of haircuts because, as a lot of you know who have gone natural, when you cut your hair that low, big chop, without transitioning, as your hair starts to grow in, it's all different lengths. Like your hair could be one length in the crown, another length here, another length there. And so by the time it, it's starting to grow out, you might have the back that's, you know, longer, but then the sides are up to here. So you have to do a lot of cutting, a lot of shaping until finally it takes months and months to grow to where you have a full, even, blunt look to your hair. So I finally achieved that in the early spring. I posted a video explaining no more cutting, no more shape ups, just simple trims. Now that my hair is all one length. And so now that, and I told you, I told all of you, I said, now that the cutting's over, you're going to just see nothing but growth. So that's what this video is all about to show you all about my growth. So, um, yeah, let me just comb it. Um, so you can see my hair. This was like the mushroom that I started off with, except my curls were a lot looser. So it looked uh, much, much better. But, um, yeah, see? I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's just like, it's unbelievable, my hair. I mean, unbelievable. I just can't believe it. Like, when you go from having the small afro to actually having hair again, it's amazing. So I just can't wait to see, like, I'm already planning, okay, like, by December, what is it going to look like? So, yeah, so this is what I started off with Saturday with the looser curl, and it was really, really cute. So, you know, I wish I could get that look again, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> 
you know, they, you can never quite get it the way the hairdresser got it. So, um, yeah, but it looked kind of like this. And I'm fluffing it out like that, you know, just kind of playing with it. You know, I actually have hair. I actually have it. So, anyway, this is my look. And I wanted to show you what it looks like with the different earrings. But, um, yeah, so these are the earrings I'm wearing with it now. I think they look really cute because it's about the same color as my hair. Because my hair is is like a like a chestnut brown. So I found these earrings that match exactly to my hair color. So they just blend so nice. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like with hoops. And this, is, again, is like playing on the whole retro mushrooms. Because in the late 70s, a lot of women were actually natural. And they would wear this gorgeous, shiny, natural mushroom hairstyle with big hoops. So I went out, of course, had to buy the big hoops. And uh, I like that look also. So I'm just showing you guys. Hope you don't mind. I'm just, just kind of, you're in my living room with me. I'm showing you my different, you know, looks. And I'm having fun. So hopefully you're having fun too. So um, this is a cute look as well. And then I thought, well, gee, if I go for more the Dorothy Dangeridge 1950s look, you can switch from the hoops to some, and these are also retro earrings, probably from the 50s. So, yes, I'm going to show you the whole Dorothy Dangeridge look. So if the curls are tighter, I'm kind of trying to push them back in, you know, kind of like less of a bang here. See? Now this is more like the whole 1950s look. You know, and she always had that little curl, if you don't remember, like from, have you ever seen the movie Carmen? Remember she had the little curls like this? And her hair was just so beautiful. So yeah, see, this is more like the Marilyn Monroe, Dorothy Dandridge 1950s look. And then you can have like the little studs to kind of complement it. So yeah, all these different looks I can do with my hair. So yeah, you can go from 1970s and then back to the year 2012 with the feather earrings. Yeah, lots of the gorgeous looks that we can do with our natural hair. And again, I have no relaxer. This is all, um you know, just from a flat iron, which I don't do often. I only did it for my length check video. And, uh, I don't know, I'm enjoying it. Before I've said, oh, I hate my hair straight, but this is the first time I'm actually really, really enjoying it. But yeah, see, this is my hair here. And, um, very bouncy, very healthy. I'm in love with my hair now. Well, you know, I've always loved my hair, but I'm just having f more fun with it now. So um, I just wanted to show you, back to my handy dandy tape measure, I'm going to actually show you the length that I've achieved from when I first um, big chopped my hair. So my hair naturally grows about a fourth of an inch a month. And just to kind of show you uh, what kind of length that is, okay, this is an inch right here, okay, from here to here. That's about an inch. And textbook hair growth, and you can Google this, for the average person, okay, if you're not below average, you're not above average, is about a half an inch a month. So if this is an inch, textbook, the average person grows half of that. So here we are at a half an inch a month. Okay, so what is that a year? So half an inch times 12 months should be 6 inches, okay, which this is 6 inches right here. So textbook, on average, people grow about this much hair in a year. Well, I was below textbook average. I only grew a fourth of an inch of hair a month, which is this much. So you do the math. So a fourth of an inch a month would only give you three inches of hair a year. That's it, three inches. And that's how much my hair normally grew. Without hair adrenaline, my hair grew three inches in a year. So it's been a year and two months since IBC'd. So according to my own natural hair growth, I should only have, let's say, I'll even bump it up to four inches of hair in a year. And as you know, IBC'd, I had several haircuts, and I always was honest about I'm trimming, I'm, you know, and you can see my hair all the way to the end that it's, I showed you before that I, you know, I have a perfectly blunt cut. You've seen that. So I should have only gained four inches of hair since IBC'd. So let's see. 
oh wait wait a minute look at the, I'm at the root now let me see if I can really get it I really want to put hair adrenaline in perspective for you guys okay so there's my scalp and where's four inches four inches where are you okay here's my scalp and here from here scalp to here is four inches as you can see right there that's four inches and this is how much more growth I got okay oops I lost it okay, let me go back to my scalp now okay four inches right here and I'm going down going down going down going down okay okay I think I'm at eight inches right here okay that's how much hair growth I have right now today is eight inches of hair at my crown which is my shortest part of my hair other than my bang is my shortest so that's four extra inches beyond my textbook beyond my normal rate of hair growth okay and that's considering I've had several haircuts or shape ups I think I had three I'd have to check but at least three shape ups over the last year and two months so that really shows you with my normal rate of hair growth okay without haircuts or anything should have only been four inches and even with three at least three haircuts I'm at eight inches in my crown my shortest part of my hair so that's I mean this doesn't lie folks this does not lie okay doesn't lie and people expect unrealistic results they expect in a month to see five inches of hair and that's not how it happens and so when you put it in a realistic perspective and that your hair can grow up to three times faster than your normal rate of hair growth you, that's wonderful and you just have to be realistic that it's going to take actual time to see the difference but after a year six months you're going to be amazed at the results that you see so yep Whew, my hair is frizzing out by the by the second because <laughs> as you know we're having like a major heat wave across the country so messing in it and combing it is just making it frizz more but guess what I don't care because I just I'm so happy to show you my hair so it doesn't matter but anyways I'm going to show you really quick how I achieve this hairstyle it's so easy because you know I've told you guys before I'm low maintenance when it comes to my hair so if it ain't easy I'm not going to do it okay <laughs> so what I do is I just take the bang like this okay and I just take one of these little rollers like this. Now if I want more of like a looser curl, then I just bump it under like that. That's it. Twist it over one time. Okay? And I just basically curl it right down into that mushroom that I was telling you about. Okay? Just slightly, just enough to curl it under, okay? See, I don't know if you can see in my root, but it's like <laughs> that much of fro. So I couldn't believe my hair must be much longer then. Wow. I'll do another update video probably at the end of September. That way you'll see even more growth. Okay, that's enough rolling. Okay, then for the back, I double up the rollers because I want the curl to be really, really, really loose. I don't want it to be a tight curl. I want to show my, my hair length in the back. So, I'm just going to part it like this. Hopefully, you're all having a great summer. I am. It's just really busy. So I'm sure you guys are all busy too, traveling, enjoying your vacations and the sun and maybe some beaches. I love summer. Okay, last one. That's how easy and quick it is. Last one. Again, doubling the rollers. And that's it. So easy. Then I just take my head scarf like this and uh, tie it up and I'm ready for tomorrow. And I tie it this way because, I don't know, I just like it better. And then I just tie my scarf on like that and I go to bed. But I'm not going to bed now because it's still daytime. And also, um, as you know, 
um, I have had major July appreciation sale on the website at www.hairadrenaline.com. That's www.hairadrenaline.com. I decided I don't want the fun to be over. So I have um, created another promotion for you guys. Because a lot of people ask me, well, Valerie, do you give samples? Unfortunately, I don't give away samples. When I'm on the level of, like, you know, Amazon or something, I'll be able to just ship free samples to everybody. But right now, it's just not like that. But I can still try to do my best to accommodate you. I want you guys to be able to try the product. I want you to feel comfortable um, placing an order. So what I came up with, I said, you know, um, I'm going to create, like, a, a sample um, adrenaline sampler. And that's what it's going to be called. So when you, as of tomorrow morning... August 1st for 30 days to the end of the month and uh, go to the on sale page that's the key the on sale page and look for the hair adrenaline sampler and I'm going to offer the potion in a four ounce size with a detox in four ounce shampoo four ounce and a shampoo companion and um, if you're wondering, well, what is a shampoo companion? What is a detox? What, you know, how do I use the potion? Check out my how-to video with Sweet. Um, it will explain step-by-step -step what each of the products uh, does and how to use them. See how you like it, get a feel, and then maybe you'll want to order more. I think you're going to want to order more. But yes, the Hair Adrenaline Sampler is a chance for you to try all these products at a small size. So yes, give it a try. The Hair Adrenaline Sampler, you're going to get all these um, products in, the, in a small size at a reasonable price. So if you want to see the price, you're going to have to go to www.hairadrenaline.com on the on sale page. And I guarantee you, it'll be worth it when you see the price. You might fall out of your chair and say, oh my gosh, I'm going to try. So give it a try. And have hair growth. And do a video. And share and encourage. So anyways, um... Hope you guys all have a lovely day. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, hair update. And uh, as always, oh, happy hair growing. Bye.